few men or women. However, there is a slow and gradual decline in testosterone production among men, which is normal as they age. But don't despair. As you do get older, testosterone therapy may sound like the ultimate anti-aging formula. Let's find out what it's all about. Joining me now to talk to us more on this topic is a Professor Mohammed Hafiji. He is the head of urology at Wits University. A very warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for inviting me. Briefly talking to you off air about testosterone deficiency syndrome. These are issues that unfortunately some men are very shy uh, about. They kind of whisper to one or two confidants in the corner uh, and they don't speak openly about it because there's still a lot of stigma attached to it. Your manliness is attached to testosterone. Right. But it's a common, common problem, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, w what, what we've noted is that from the age of around 40, we have a 1 to 2 percent drop in testosterone levels. It's a little different to women because a woman goes through menopause and there's a defining event in that she stops menstruating. But testosterone, as testosterone drops, there are a number of symptoms and signs that a, an individual goes through. And they're a constellation of symptoms. There may be sleep disturbances, lack of muscle mass, bone mass, you know, energy levels, sleep disturbances, you know, joint aches. And the other thing about the testosterone, it's absolutely essential for normal cardiovascular health. So your cardiovascular health is intertwined with a normal testosterone level. Hmm. I, I was actually about to ask you to define the testosterone for us. I mean, we always joke in the studio here, myself, Valen, Andy Lane, when Leanne is here, here as well, we always say there's an oversupply of estrogen in the house and we need a little bit of testosterone every now and again. But very little is known about the role of testosterone really in a man's body. Talk to us about its function. Okay. Okay. The testosterone is, is produced by the, the testicles in main part. Okay. There's a small amount produced by the adrenal. And what, it, what testosterone does in life is that it's essential for maintaining bone mass, muscle mass. It's also important for libido, which is your sex drive. And it's interlinked to erectile function and healthy erectile function. And it's also important for, for the production of red blood cells. Energy levels, it also works on the mind. So for example, positive thoughts, ideation, goal-oriented goal -oriented, you know, activity. Um, there's also the other side of testosterone, where you have very high testosterone levels, and obviously that can bring off over-aggressive behavior. I, I think the goal of what we're looking at is testosterone replacement therapy to re-establish normal levels. And we'd like to get back to normality. And we're able to do that quite effectively now. How does it work? Okay. So what happens is when a person presents with it may not be one symptom, but it's this whole constellation of symptoms that we talked about early. They would go to their doctor, usually a urologist or their, or their general practitioner, and present with these symptoms. And the first thing you've got to do is make sure there aren't any other conditions resulting, such as thyroid problems, heart failure. Okay. So at that point, you would do a blood test. Okay. And what we do is a free and total testosterone level. It's done in the morning because there are variations in the testosterone level during the day. It's done in the morning and in combination with these symptoms and a low testosterone level, we would then consider supplementing testosterone in these individuals. So it is manageable? Correct. All right. Uh, we're going to have to leave it there. But before I go, uh, just in 30 seconds or even less than that, do men like going to things like this? I mean, there's always the misconception that men don't like to go to therapy. They don't want to share their problems with the world. Are you finding that uh, many, many guys are coming to I the party on this? I think there is a reluctance when they tend to be reactive rather than proactive. Okay. But the big problem with testosterone deficiency syndrome is that it's a constellation of non-specific symptoms that men sometimes simply attribute to yeah. aging okay. without doing the necessary test. Yeah, we'll have to leave it there. Prof, thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, very insightful indeed. Uh, Professor Mohammed Hafiji is the head of urology at Wits University.